What is scale guys? Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're back with more weapons to review. And the weapon we're going to be looking at today is going to be an old scout rifle that got reprised from a uh, season of the Drifter. And it's going to be a Nightwatch. This scout rifle right now is being sold by Banshee with a rather solid roll. Like, I honestly think this is a god roll for this Nightwatch, excluding the curated book. <laughs> oh, you mean you want to play Gambit to try to get the curated roll? Oh, boys, you don't want to do that. You can obviously, it used to be from the Reckoner and stuff, it drops from Gambit now. There is obviously the Omega Engrams as well that can drop up, but yeah. Yeah, good luck with that RNG. But the Night Watch itself, Banshee is selling this solid ass roll, and you'll see it right now. It's a dope looking weapon. These uh these weapons were obviously dope when they came out. They got sunset and brought back in season of arrivals, but this weapon's perks. You got chamber compensators, so increased stability, motor controls recoil, slightly decreased handling speed, or you got corkscrew rifling, slightly increases range stability, increases handling speed. Magazine wise, you got steady range, so great increased stability, slightly decreases range, or you got the alloy magazine, so fast reloads on the magazine is empty. Trait wise, you got outlaw precision kills, greatly decreased reload time. And last but not least, you've got the daddy tree, which is going to be multi-kill clip. Reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. So for me, yeah, it's a one stack because I don't get more than one kill in PvP, guys. You know how shit I am. It will also come with a masterwork of handling. And this one is actually not bugged, so you can stick on whatever you want. We can stick on a target and just sit back up, Mike. I do love a good backup, Mike. But you can see that this is a really, really good roll for PvP. And for PvE, it's not bad, but as a sec, curated will be overflow. Oh, God, on a scout is nuts. But yeah, we're going to try this roll out in some PvP. We're going to test it out if it's worth going to Banshee and picking it up because Banshee is honestly dirt cheap. It's like three shards or whatever it is, like or maybe 13 or something. It's like nothing. It's pennies compared to what you really should be spending for weapons that actually have these solid rolls. Just before we get into it, Bungie actually released the Be True emblem, boys. This is for trans rights. It is a representation. Go download it. There is codes. I'll post it in the comments below. I'll pin it to this video as well. There is a code you can use to redeem it. I don't know if it's a timed thing or if you want to get it. It's a free uh, emblem anyway. So if you want this, use the code, download it, rep it if you want to. It's a dope looking emblem. Honestly, it is not a bad emblem whatsoever. But yeah, it is a free emblem if you want to uh, go to the Bungie store and put the code in and get it. You can rep it if you like. It's for trans rights, as I said. Bungie are always really inclusive and they represent a lot. But we're going to be going in with our Nightwatch weapon. We're going to be showing this god roll. If it is going to be the bee's knees. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with our Nightwatch roll. Alrighty, so we're going to be on freaking Pacific. Uh, you know, every time I go to do a scout rifle, Bungie just flick through and go... <laughs> Okay, we're going to put him on a shitty map. We're going to put him on a close range map because you scout. And that's, and that's my voice of Bungie. That's what Bungie sound like. They're like nerds, okay? <laughs> but the night watch itself, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have a pretty nice sight. But if you don't like the sight, well, tough titties because you are stuck with this scope. It isn't a bad scope or anything, but give me that assist, boys. Thank you. It isn't a bad scope or anything like that, but it's definitely... Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Freaking scaring me. But yeah, if you don't like it, you're kind of stuck with it, which is annoying for some people. I think it's a, it's all right. For 200 RPM as well, you're not going to really want like a red dot or anything. You want something kind of for the ranges or whatever. But of course, as I said, this is Pacifica, so I'm going to literally have to try to find lanes in the freaking map where there is no lanes. Oh, you're going to be here, though. There's a hand cannon and a palindrome, so I'm pretty screwed. Oh, we actually domed them. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The four top. And when you get the kill clip going as well, you can't absolutely wreck some people. Like, look at that. It is freaking sweet when you get it going. But, yeah, I'm going to get absolutely yeah, one top. Just top there at the wazoo. When you're playing up close like this, it is going to go bad. So, you got to find those ranges. And that's why I'm at B flag. But, of course, we're kind of, like, just pinning them back. If they're all going to be, I can actually do something. Look at these guys though. Now when he's one shot, there's the kill. I thought I wasn't going to get that, but do with your RPMs. These aren't the bad uh, or archetype of scout rifle or anything like that. They turn into nerdy a triple top when uh, you get kill clip going, depending on reason and stuff. So it is a really sweet uh, roll. That's what I'm saying. This kill clip outlaw roll is actually pretty nutty. So, oh my God, he's one shot. Thank you for the kill, boys. But yeah, when you get the outlaw going, obviously it's just super sweet with the kill clip. I know people will ride a rapper hit sometimes, but this honestly isn't a bad roll. Oh, they burn him. They, oh, they both burn him. Oh, he's, he's dead. Oh, oh, this guy, he ran into me. Hey, bro, can you just die? <laughs> he just can't hit me with a grenade launcher. And this guy goes, Vex me the class. That's it. <laughs> oh, but that's just, it is the up close personal fights. I'm always going to struggle with people using hand cannons up close because obviously time to kill, whatever. But God loves a try on, boys. I am trying to put it in. I'm trying to put the work in. That's what I meant to say. I didn't mean to sound rude, boys. But I'm trying to do freaking work with this thing up close. It's going to be difficult, though. But as I said, this roll actually is not bad at all. So when you get the shots in, oh, you can wreck. And as I said, when you get the kill clip going, it can absolutely annihilate some people. But palindrome adept jumping in the air. Yep. <laughs> it can drop some people, though. And the kill clip is just so good on this weapon. That's why I know a lot of people will be like explosive rounds. 
overflow is literally uh, the curator or explosive rounds. I know it's on this too. But generally speaking, it is a nice roll as well. This guy has a sniper or something. Hey, how you going, bro? Where you going? Okay, he's gone. Get him, boys. Get him. I'm getting this guy trying to freaking shoot me in the ass. You do not shoot me in the ass and not expect me to bite back, bro. Oh, there's someone there and there's someone up here, right? There was someone here, right? Where you at, bro? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> Who <laughs> thinks he can hide from me and oh guy slaying out on the freaking super kill. Oh uh, gonna be a guy running in there though. Where's he going? Where are you going, bro? Where you I can't I can't, I'm trying to no scope. I can't hit him. There we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, no scope, but yeah, no to self. No scope and probably isn't the best option. With Enemy these scouts, they go in max range anyway. You don't really need the uh, the range roll, of course, with a scout rifle. You're kind of looking for uh, handling don't and uh, probably stability for uh, console up. users. I'm not gonna lie, give me the you heals. Oh, boys, oh, give me the shotgun kills. Freaking current scenes for the win, boys. If I didn't convert you already, current scenes are goaded. But we are absolutely stomping these. Man, I'm using the scout Pacifica. I'm actually winning. What the hell is this? Oh, a couple of more foes in here, though. We got a scout rifle. We got his ass. And you, you dead, bro. <laughs> get in. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, oh, just get him. Oh, shredded. And this guy behind me. Oh, my God. Thank you, whoever you are. You are a freaking hero. Hey, who's our guy here? What the hell? Oh, oh, no. Boys, boys. Oh, oh guys. Look at us slay out. We are freaking golden, my dudes. Okay, I got charged the light, so I should be able to absolutely just top some dudes face off. And that's the guy just... He went for it. Oh, oh, oh no. Can we get the other guy? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Got that, that. <laughs> oh, I say he's just so freaking mad. What is this guy doing? I will never know, but there's the kill. Oh, we have the kill. Keep going. Oh, mama. Oh, God. I had a shock. Oh, oh wait. I had heavy. Okay. I was going to say I had freaking heavy. I got a rocket launcher to the dude. But, man, this is specifically with a scout. You can already see it can't slay out a little bit, so... What do you expect when you get onto a good map? 200 RPM is always actually a good archetype of scale, as I said. Probably one of the best, if not, obviously, the 260 RPMs right now are just absolutely slain. But yeah, it's definitely a sweet, uh, sweet archetype, as I said. 200 RPMs, lightweight, or whatever. Kill clip as well, the increase in that time to kill, unlike the 180s that don't really get much of anything once you get a kill. But yeah, it actually handles pretty nicely too, and I just got a free kill off that. It handles pretty nice, as I said. Outlaw is always just a super sweet combo. I know I'm pretty much falling into the trap of Outlaw kill clip, God roll. <laughs> but it's definitely a sweet one, I'm not gonna lie. And this guy's gonna rush me with a shotgun. Oh, come on, bro. You must have, you know I'm right. Oh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Oh my god, how to live there and <laughs> Yasha with the torn and the freaking potato connection. That's what that combo is. <laughs> uh so yeah, obviously up close. I'm not expecting to absolutely drop people. That's why I'm dying a lot, but but if you're playing this to its strengths, you will stay in it. If I get one tap by that vex, because oh get out of my back, get away! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? I killed actually all of them. What the Okay boys, we're actually staying. I can't hit the shop, but they're did that guy actually just... Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? That guy survived Dombly. What the hell was that? Freaking God Mode activated. But look at this guy. Oh, there we go. And that guy's trying to kill me. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> oh, it's dope. And oh, no, no. Such a wave is the havoc. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the exact same super that just freaking killed me. But he's out of energy. Hey, bro. You want to just not just freaking do that to me? Okay, you're, you're dead, bro. You freaking dead. <laughs> I am not dealing with your shenanigans at the wall. Freaking fist, you dying, bruh. You ain't fisting me and getting away with it. I remember everybody who fists me, okay? Oh, uh, a couple of dudes here, though. We get one. Um, oh, what? What? What was that fresh? Oh, okay, I, I have some serious questions, Bungie. What the hell was that? I legit... Oh, God, can you just not? Thanks for the heal, bro. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, boys. I, I really do appreciate you coming down to the Thunderdome. <laughs> Oh, we need to kill this guy. Okay, yep. There's the damage. I'm going to go. Okay, this guy is whipping. So am I. <laughs> Come on, me, boys. Come on. Keep it going. I'm, I'm still here, boys. I'm still freaking here. I'm still standing. Ah! Oh, we're still standing. You know what? We ain't scared. We were not scared of that freaking fight. Where is this guy gone? Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, this is freaking... Oh, it's, oh, it's the guy just randomly heals. Level zero. Oh, God. <laughs> That's the way I die. I'm legit in a freaking rift. Thunderdome. Karnstein arm the freaking shotgun. And I died to the laggy hard light. Freaking nice. This is the range, though, where I'm actually going to be able to stay out, people. Like, look at it. Once you get to the right engagement, you can do so much freaking work. It actually is super nice. Oh, baby. If I died there, I would have been annoyed. But it is super nice when you get the right right engagement stuff. Like, I mean, just to keep them at arm's breadth and you will just slay them. This guy, you got to peek me again, bro. You know you want to. You're level like seven. Do it. Do it. Do it again, bro. There we go. Oh, oh I got robbed. Boys, I got freaking robbed. Uh, you heard it here, folks. I got freaking robbed. And there's the kill. There's the double kill. Oh, no. Get me out. Oh, oh, we're doing it. We don't care. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, bro. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, I thought he could get out of there. Probably should just jump. But you know what? You can see it. When you get to the right engagement, this is a really low pop game. When you get to the right engagement, though, this Night Watch is actually really, really dope. The kill clip, obviously, on it as well. It does start to stay out now. This guy just went right. Oh! I killed him somehow. <laughs> uh, that is game set. I'm uh, one more kill for the road, boys. One more kill for the road. Yes, we will. There we go. Uh, hey, bro. You want to just... No, I was coming over. Oh, okay. I was coming over to like just literally emote with him. And my Titan fisted him. I had other plans, basically. Titan crayon needed, you know what I'm saying? 46 opponents defeated, though. 5.11 efficiency. I mean, that's Nightwatch on Pacifica. Imagine it on a big-ass map. Well, that is it for me and this Nightwatch Gold Roll. That is a vendor roll too. Banshee is currently selling this. I know a lot of people might have rolls of this already from freaking yonks ago or even the season of arrivals because this came back. This is for a lot of new people who are trying to kind of catch up as well. And this time in as well of the season, there's not much going on. So you're trying to catch up, get as much gold rolls as you can. It is always nice to pick one of these up if you don't have one. I honestly didn't have one of these and I've been playing this game since year dot. So I, I am super happy that I could get one, put it into my vault. I know people will say overflow, demolitionist, the curated is better or even just at the freaking explode or the explosive round one. I know that is really good on the Sket Rifle and everything, but 200 RPM Outlaw Kill Clip, you cannot go wrong with this. It does slay. And Sket Rifles in general, they're not exactly meta, but when you get the right map and you can see the right engagement with this, you can start to slay. With the handling that is on this, you can even increase it a little bit more if you want, but Chamber, it's a bit better. But you can use the handling and you can put on a Target Adjuster as well. You have a good stability and everything. It's got a lot going for it, this roll. This is a god roll for me. I would definitely pick it up off Banji. As I said, it costs nothing. It's like 30 shards or something like that. It costs absolutely nothing to pick up. Leave it in your vault if you have the space i'm running out honestly i need to do a clean i have stupid things in my vault but regardless if you like the video just like i don't want to see more content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully i'll see the next collective in the next one